Hey guys, I recently switched over from Windows 10 to Ubuntu 16.04 and I just thought I'd make a short video showing exactly how easy it is to go from one point and click graphic user environment to another, whether it's Windows or Linux. Uh, this is made to help anyone considering the switch from Windows to Linux. I chose Ubuntu because I think it's very user friendly and for someone new to the Linux environment I feel as though it would be a smooth transition. Um, a lot of the software that you'll use will be the same software that you use in Windows and I'd like to show you how easy it is to get started using that. I did a fresh install of Ubuntu yesterday. It took about eight, ten minutes maybe. Maybe it was even faster. Uh, I have found that everything's moved very smoothly and I did this on an old machine and it's moving faster than my latest laptop which was bought many years later and it's half broken so I think we're moving great <coughs> very happy with the speed of the operating system uh, alright so I think some of the things that we want to do start with browse the web I think you'll find that on their sidebar here just like the taskbar in Windows you have a web browser built in, it's Firefox, and that can get you started browsing the web right away, just like normal. Um, you're welcome to download other options, you know, Chrome, Safari, whatever you are comfortable with for browsing the web. I was already using Firefox and Windows, so I was happy to find it here, ready to go. Didn't have to do anything extra. Um, files on your computer. Uh, you know you want to copy files from your phone from the internet whatever there's a button right here files click that button and it brings you to your home it's kinda like your Windows home and it has your stuff some of these folders I made in the past day and some were here already like desktop was here documents downloads music pictures public videos these things are probably familiar from Windows. You know, when you click on Start and you go to your documents and stuff, this is the same basic thing. You can come in and put your documents. I have some books in there. You can come in and put your downloads, you know, whatever you're doing. And it's just like Windows, this part. You can drag and drop things around. You can right click and copy. Just like Windows. And you can move your files around where you want them. And that's the File Explorer. One more time, right here, second option. I also made my buttons a little bit smaller to accommodate more room on the sidebar. Yours are probably going to start out a little bit bigger. It's only a few seconds to shrink them down a little bit if you need some more space. Next up is searching your computer. So if you want to search your computer, you can click right here and type what you want to search for and it'll show you anything there. I had typed in transmission so it shows me to the transmission BitTorrent client. I could type in text and it would show me a text editor which is another fantastic thing for us to use if we want to use our text editor which I already have open down here right here. Just for taking notes and it's kinda like notepad in Windows but I feel as though it's a little bit better. It even has browsed <coughs> or I'm sorry tabbed files instead of notepad which you know is just the one you're working on there so you can have as many tabs as you want open I have two files open right now and you got your save button you can open more make a new tab and I find it to be a useful text editor just as good as notepad better actually uh, something else we all want to do is check our email um, I personally was using Microsoft Outlook and I had to switch over to a different program here because we don't use Microsoft Outlook in Linux. I chose to use Thunderbird. I believe Thunderbird was pre-installed on Ubuntu. Thunderbird Mail. I installed a few add-ons to Thunderbird to make it a little bit more friendly for me, like the calendar pane over here, which does some calendar integration, adds a few more features, can do things coming up to do. and plan out your stuff and you just from within inside your email and uh, I'm just gonna show you some of the other add-ons I got uh, I, I grabbed Junquilla 
but I haven't really had a chance to actually use it well enough to say how effective it is. Uh, Lightning is the calendar integration. You can just search add-ons here to find these when you open up Thunderbird. Uh, the enhanced desktop notifications were absolutely fantastic. This is something that a lot of email clients do, especially Outlook, where when a new email comes in, you'll get a desktop notification letting you know who sent the email, the subject line, customizable things. You can set that up later. Uh, but I, I personally think that that's a must-have for an email client, so I was very happy with this add-on. So far, it's worked great. Uh, I get all the notifications up here near the clock. Um, this is kind of like your little control panel in Ubuntu where you can see my mail, sound. Rhythm Box is something else I'll touch on. It's a program for playing MP3s. Um, might as well tell you right now. I had it open. I was playing some songs. You can control your songs right here from the sound panel that you can just right click on to get to. And you can control your master volume and your mic volume and also any sound applications right now. Like the rhythm box is playing sound, so there's controls for it right there. And I can start or stop my song. That was rhythm box and audio controls, guys. See that? Easy peasy, done. Audio controls, rhythm box. Here's rhythm box. Rhythm box is around here somewhere. There it is. Rhythm box. Yay, rhythm box. MP3 player. Basic. Works great. Grabbed all my music in about three seconds, added it in here, and I just chose some of the albums I had and played an album. And I was in business in under 10 seconds. Rhythm box is pre installed. I added it over here to the sidebar because I would like to listen to some music. If you would like to find it, you can just come over here and type rhythm, just like anything else in the computer. Everything I've chosen for this video is either pre-installed or very easily accessible without using any of what's called terminal commands. Uh, I'm not even going to touch on the terminal today. I'm just going to show you things we can point and click to. So rhythm box, pre-installed, MP3 player, fantastic. Uh, there's a few other installed components. But this was the end of the Thunderbird part. You know, grab some add-ons for yourself. Your mail. Sorry about showing you the Chinese junk mail, guys. All right. So we did text editor, rhythm box. Screenshot is something that is pre-installed again. It won't be on your sidebar. I added it there. I take screenshots a lot. Screenshot. It's pre-installed. And Screenshot allows you to come and just like Snippet Tool in Windows. You can come and grab the whole screen, a section of the screen, the current window. You can delay your grab, include the pointer, don't include the pointer. Take your screenshot and voila, watch. We'll select an area to grab of our own. We'll grab this spot right there. And we took the picture. There it is. And then we can save it right to our pictures. Save. There you go. I find it a little faster and smoother than Snippet Tool, which I use all the time. Uh, I think it's easier to use, and I use Snippet Tool a lot. So this is even faster, saving me more time working. And the sooner I can get done work, the sooner I can start playing. Right, guys? That sounds good. That doesn't happen. All right, so Microsoft Office, popular business applications for people. A lot of people want to be able to use Microsoft Office. Uh, there's a lot of equivalents now. People use Google Docs. People use OpenOffice. There's, there's other options, and a lot of them are compatible with Microsoft Office. Uh, the Ubuntu Linux flavor is Libre, and there's LibreOffice Writer. I'm going to open it up for you, LibreOffice similar to Microsoft Office, takes a half second to load. And Word, Microsoft Word, or LibreOffice Writer. So a lot of the same tools you're familiar with, a lot of the same things. An acceptable solution to me. I, I do not believe I am doing anything so proprietary in Microsoft Word that I can't also do it here. Uh, 
I even have pre-made templates in Microsoft Word and whatnot, and I, I don't think it's going to be any problem at all to transition them here. Uh, I do invoicing this way and several other things, and I think it's going to be a smooth transition. Uh, moving on, this is Libre Calc, and it's like Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So this is the spreadsheet alternative over here. Again, I think it's pretty straightforward. Very familiar. Easy to use. You know, assuming you use these spreadsheet programs like Excel. And Impress. LibreOffice Impress. Make your presentations. And these all come right there, ready to go. I didn't add those. Those are ready to go. So you got your presentation slideshow maker, you got your spreadsheet maker, and your document maker. Close this out. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm fairly impressed with response time from this old machine running the Linux system. Everything seems smooth. Uh, some other things that I installed were Pulse Audio. I don't think, maybe this comes pre-installed. Uh, maybe I just added it to the sidebar. It, if you want to check yours, you can just type Pulse, and you should see it there. Um, that was so that I could have some more sound controls. It's just like this, but it, it adds some extra sound control features. There's a few different choices that might be worth mentioning. That's something called ALSA, A-L-S-A, uh, controls sound and audio on your computer. Something else that's going to be very important for people who want to get new software is a very easy to use point and click software center, the Ubuntu software center. We click this and it's kind of like the app stores on the various things. Google Play, you know, um, iPhone app store, what have you. It's an app store for Ubuntu, which I think is really neat. Uh, I don't know how long Ubuntu has been doing this, but uh, it's a really good idea. And I, I really love it. I think it's great. Uh, everyone does this these days, and it makes it very user-friendly. And anything you're looking to get, you just you can try to come here and type it out and see if you can find it. Um, one of the things that I didn't mention yet was something called, uh, I, I guess it's pronounced Blogillo. I don't really know, but it's something for blogging. I decided to give it a shot over here. I don't even really use anything for blogging on Windows. I usually log in, but I would like to enhance that and do something a little better. Sometimes I use Scribefire, which is a Firefox plugin over in Windows, which is available here as well. Any plugins for Firefox are universal. Um, Blogillo is an, an, a blogging app. Uh, I do a lot of blogging for work. So I found that here, and I just, you know, if you type blog, you're going to notice you get a lot of choices and there's the one I, I selected there and there's you know different apps you can download and you got your updates which ones you've installed and all of them editors picks and you can come to the software center and get many different apps for whatever it is you're looking for however I'd like to point out that not all things are available here, so don't think that because you came here and you searched something and you didn't find what you were looking for that it's not available. Um, something else I use is TeamViewer uh, instead of a remote desktop uh, because people are very familiar with it. And I was not thrilled to death with its performance on opening up over here, but I need it for work, so I have to install that. And I don't think it's available in the store here. No, I don't see it here. But Team Viewer is available like if we were to go to the website. So, you know, we could type in download Team Viewer for Ubuntu. Or we could have typed download Team Viewer for Linux. Same thing. See that? Team Viewer Linux download. And we can come get it right here. We can do this with a lot of things. You know, whatever software you're interested in, you can see if there is a Linux alternative. So never think that just because you can't find something or you don't think it's there that it's not. You know, a lot of us use Skype. And so 
I'm going to do Skype Linux download. Download Skype for Linux. So just because you're used to using something on Windows doesn't mean it can't be used on anything. Today's world, things are very, very cross-platform. Uh, with mobile phones and tablets and all that jazz, people are making things work for everything. And there's a lot of new ways to make things work universally. So don't dismay. You can probably use all of your Windows applications over here in Linux and be very happy. I've, I've been using it the past two days pretty intensively. Uh, I think you can notice, you know, I've done some stuff over here, installed my programs, and I like it. It's been working out great. I find it very responsive, like the basic features of it, like that everything's at my fingertips. Don't have to really go far to get anything. Uh, something I forgot to mention was, you know, I burned some CDs, DVDs. So if you want Brazero Disk Burner, you c I think I downloaded that. So again, it would be the Software Center. And you would just come here and type what you're, you type it right there. Type what you're looking for. And it was great. I used Brazero to burn a couple DVDs. Worked flawlessly. Quick and easy, painless. Uh, I think I touched on everything I wanted to touch on. Um, feel like I forgot something, guys. But Hopefully, I've given you some stuff to think about and shown you how easy it is to do some stuff in Ubuntu Linux and how easy it can be to just move over and do all of your normal stuff over here. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask. I'm happy to help. Uh, I'd love to help anybody switch away from Windows because they've really made some bad Windows 8 and 10 software. So, remember, uh, Linux is open source and developed by a community and everybody works on it to just improve it and make it better. Uh, again, no terminal today guys if you're familiar with Linux and this is to help show people how they can stay comfortable in using a Windows-esque environment. Thanks for watching guys. Again, if you have any questions, remember hit me up and I'll be happy to help. Have a great day guys.